Assalamualaikum, welcome to my channel. I am Juzaila and today I want to share with you a few tips on running the HBL or the home-based learning. So I think it's been uh, 10 days since the circuit breakers and we've heard a lot of um, feedbacks and comments from parents uh, when it comes to the home-based learning. So I am in the preschool sector and yes, preschool sectors, we also sent out home-based uh, learning kits. Reza is in infant infant care. And even his teachers has already, you know, emailed me, uh, sent me activities that for him to do daily. And I think that is very commendable, you know, for teachers all around. So this is definitely them stepping out of their comfort zone and they are doing all they can to make sure that the learning doesn't stop. So I appreciate that and I think for these teachers also it's commendable because they are doing things that they have never done before. Uh, you know, some of them are starting to record videos uh, and recording videos, editing videos is not a simple thing to do, you know. It's, it's, it's a totally... Um, another uh, there's a steep learning curve you know life lessons uh, for one thing all the technicalities you know, they are doing powerpoints which is you know for me it's it's still okay it's still a huge effort from our teachers to be able to deliver this home based learning experience we're all are trying to do together this is like one of the first few times that we're trying to make this happen so Anyway, the purpose of this video is I want to share some tips because I have um, feedback from parents that how do I get my child to listen to the videos? How do I get my child to do this those activities? One of the thing is uh, you got to start with the same routine. There has to be a, a schedule. There has to be a routine. And for preschool uh, children, routine is absolutely important um, for them to uh, understand and re to understand what is going on in the day and also to reduce their anxiety a little bit. Set a routine. If he's up at um, 8 o'clock in the morning, um, make sure that he gets up at the same time every day and go through the day just like if they're going to school. It may not work immediately it takes time routine takes time to adjust to get familiar um but keep on doing that the other thing is um i know like some of the home-based learning kits can be quite overwhelming because we send you like so many things to do uh, because we anticipate the number of days that school will be closed and that you know we give the um the hbl kits accordingly so it doesn't mean that you have to do all in those in those lessons there are usually about three to four uh activities that has to be done um if you can only do one that's fine don't um put on so much expectation on the child to finish everything or even if you don't even if you don't complete right at the end of this circuit breaker um, we will still follow through those lessons when school reopens. I know the situation we are in and believe me, most teachers right now will be very forgiving if you don't complete all the tasks that have been given to to you. Number three is reward or incentivize your child accordingly. What would they get? What is in it for them if they um, complete their tasks for that day and you have to figure out uh, what is it that your child responds to the most okay so that's the three tips that i have for you today i hope it has been helpful i have included a blog post uh, in the link below about a survival guide to work from home with kids and there are more tips there uh, stay safe stay home and i'll see you in the next video inshallah thank you for watching bye